All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Kevin Lee. All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. He's hurt back. Entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crutch. Taking oh, full ride. Takes him full ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, honestly, I'm going to I do that. I'm going to He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. We'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Now it's his mouth. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Start round two now, DC. Jorge Masvidal. Ready, Ready. Versus the Motown Ready. phenom, Kevin Lee. Ooh, blocks the shot. Head kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, big knee there. That one landed clean. And now he lands a combination. He loaded up there on that high kick. There again. An uppercut in. Oh! 
34 total strikes have now landed for Kevin Lee. Well, it's still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high ground. Oh! Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And oh, he's beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts people bad. And this guy has an opponent hurt very bad. How about those five minutes? Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Oh, huge elbow! A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. He's certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Game break gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. The decision Ladies is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Contest at one minute, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel Vasquez. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. Cause I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world.